ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 26th of August. James Spann here. Heat levels and humidity levels slowly rising, and we'll probably see a little rain around here before the week is over. Look at some of the Skycam shots. We'll start from Meridian, Mississippi. Over in Lauderdale County, just across the state line, the sky mostly fair there. That camera is at Bonita Lakes Mall. Tuscaloosa looking over toward the construction project at Bryant Denny Stadium in the south end zone. Sky mostly clear. And from Montevallo, looking at uh, downtown there, is seen from the uh, campus of the University of Montevallo. Look at the water vapor shot this morning. Uh, still got ridging here across the deep south. The, uh, uh, the most active westerlies are well to the north up near the Canadian border. So today will be a pretty typical August day. Rain for the next five days. The amounts will should be heaviest on the eastern side. Uh, this is valid through Sunday evening. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one and a quarter inch on the east. And then only about one quarter to one half inch on the western side of the state. And that sounds about right to us. And note that heavier rain that shows up uh, up the upper part of the Atlantic coast. That could be with Tropical Storm Danny that will be sideswiping the United States uh, probably this weekend. Uh, there's a look at the tropical cyclone activity chart there from NOAA. The map showing that uh, high probability of development north of uh, Hispaniola. There's the satellite shot, and uh, it's not overly organized at this point seems like the better convection is on the uh, eastern side there but uh, most of the models do develop this into tropical storm danny and the models are in very good agreement recurving this thing just off the east coast of the united states pretty similar to uh, bill winding up near the coast of nova scotia uh, late this weekend the intensity guidance some of the models ramp this up into a category one hurricane some of them keep it as a tropical storm, but most all of them do bring it to at least tropical storm strength with pretty warm water out there. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be another uh, uh, deal with rough surf for the eastern seaboard. Maybe some uh, wind and rain on the immediate coast, but the worst impact of this will likely stay just offshore. Look at the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars. Key westerlies up on the Canadian border down below. Should be another pretty quiet day. And you can see that slug of moisture tries to move in from the uh, south and east. So, and, and really, we had a couple of isolated showers yesterday. Same thing might happen today, but the chance of any one spot getting wet is so small, we've not mentioned that in the formal forecast. Just a partly sunny type day. And again, there's our tropical system east of the Bahamas. Tomorrow, moisture improves, especially east of I-65. So we'll mention isolated showers. And again, the better chance should be east of Birmingham. And the tropical system is showing up nicely there east of uh, Florida. Friday, pretty much the same deal. The deeper moisture stays over the eastern half of the state. But we'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms statewide. But it might be a better chance of rain there for Anniston instead of Tuscaloosa. Tropical cyclone shows up east of the Carolinas. Saturday, that tropical system really not deepening on the GFS. It begins to make the turn just off the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Pretty good moist air mass in place here. So, again, that warrants the chance of scattered showers and storms. And, of course, we note that front north of us. And uh, look at Sunday in the upper level. There's your trough developing over the east as forecast. Pretty deep trough for this time of the year. Surface boundary at midday Sunday near the shoals. So, no doubt we'll need to mention some risk of a stray shower into Sunday morning at least. Maybe Sunday afternoon for areas uh, south and east of Birmingham. And by Monday, we get into that nice, dry, continental air. Should be a day with low to mid-80s. A good chance we'll hit the upper 50s Monday or especially Tuesday morning. There's a look at uh, Tuesday. And that will feel good. Wednesday, a week from today, weather stays dry. We'll peak the end of the forecast the 10th of September. Strong negative tilt shortwave rotating through the Great Lakes. But down here, we got a flat ridge. Looks like a cold front extending from that deep low up there affecting us. But again, we see no sign of any tropical mischief down there in the Gulf of Mexico. 
but we'll keep watching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.